It is strange, but not entirely unpleasant, to find myself standing here for all eternity. I am visited by numerous friends and admirers, for many of them have rested on my right foot. Mania. That film was recorded in 1964. Um, Hard Day's Night, all the hordes of children rushing into uh, Marlebone Station after the Beatles. Of course, driving that kind of marketing frenzy was uh, quite a new thing in the 1960s. It shocked a lot of people, no doubt, that so many uh, of the youth could be so obsessed with what was essentially a product. It being immortalised in a movie just sort of drove the frenzy in real life. Now there is actually um, an investigation going on at the moment in the Houses of Parliament or in a committee meeting, committee room somewhere, about who on earth manipulated the, uh, the vote, uh, the referendum for Brexit. Both in the US and the UK, people, certain people have been damn sure that there was some kind of hidden hand uh, pushing forward for unorthodox uh, decisions, and of course uh, the memeology tells you that it, it was Russia, but factual reality tells you that it was actually a British privately owned company called Cambridge Analytica, or at least that's what they called in the US. It was said that Cambridge Analytica, what they were doing was uh, harvesting uh, psychometric data from Facebook profiles, millions of them, and are creating an accurate uh, catalogue of um, psychometrics in the electorate in order to specifically target them with propaganda or marketing or promotion of you know a political ideal. I, I just find it I found it quite interesting. Especially that they are based in central London. They're on New Oxford Street, number 55. And seeing as they're based in central London, I thought I'd head down and have a look at their uh, headquarters. And on the way, earlier on, I was checking out a different type of human capture. I'm not exactly sure who won in the end. I was distracted. But holy shit, those ducks are angry with each other today. And holy shit, look, a morning face, oh my god. Isn't that beautiful and idyllic though down there? And I am in a, a beautiful, idyllic, sort of weird post-apocalyptic, or no, post-industrial strange place called UAL, um, Central St. Martin's College. I knew a girl who went to St. Martin's College, apparently. But I'm not here to, like, really film the wildlife. Or look, even security men with red hats on, you know, exotically engaged in the study of nature. Kind of missed it, but he was checking out the ducks. Check that shit out. And also notice there's lots of JCBs and stuff. Because they're still building... Oh my god, it's windy. They're still building the new world up here. But I'm not supposed to be up here. I'm supposed to be down there showing you something else. flying saucer. Oh no, it's not aliens. They just act like aliens. Can you hear a funny noise? There's a, a cage with a, a swing inside it. It's like an enticing object to capture children. And if you ever thought that King's Cross Station in, in the background there ever looked like a UFO in some way, like a flying saucer, well you just have to look over 
to what this art is called identified flying object and uh, I probably won't be able to do it from here, it's so awkward it says uh, altering our perceptions and they lift it up into the air sometimes, or they have lifted it up into the air on a crane, I will lit up in the evening time absent however the mysterious occupant because uh, <laughs> that would be illegal I'm now going to walk to Marlebone. No, I'm now going to walk to New Oxford Street. Uh, but just to give you the update for Cop Watch 2017, witnessed in March, um, British Transport Police, uh, British Transport Police, and of course proper police officers, City of London, out of their jurisdiction. But of course they are an identified flying object. They are aliens, but uh, we, we kind of know who they are, you know? We know who you are. I'm sure it used to be that you would look for the conspiracy with buildings that said, like, Templar on the outside, and had all these weird symbols. But simply, grand buildings like that, too expensive to run an efficient conspiracy nowadays. So they are to be found in various ordinary places, like, apparently, somewhere down this road. I don't know where it is. Why does the siren start whenever I stop filming? serious place around here. So 55 New Oxford Street is uh, Cambridge Analytica, or rather it's their parent group or their parent company, Strategic Communications Laboratories, and that is actually a laboratory, but not the kind that we normally think about. What they're studying, what they have mixing up in their Petri dish is your, your wants and desires and your wishes. And I know, I already know, without all of this high-tech communication, what your wants and desires are. Uh, it's, it's sort of just here. It's actually beautiful, isn't it? I mean, that lady's obviously a criminal, or a thought criminal, possibly. Trying to spread love without documenting that love on a piece of paper and allowing it to be studied. Very, very unobvious looking building next to a church. Nothing can, bad can go on in there, can it? Um, they boast, SCL, that they have fomented coups, military coups, helped to foment with their data analytics, studying what people want, how they want it, and then executing uh, something or other, whether it's a political election, a military coup, or some kind of referendum, like the EU referendum. Uh, SCL's fingerprints are all over it, apparently. Interesting, isn't it? And nice to know that there are these weird global companies nudging our brains, and very, very successfully too. It makes you wonder which decisions are ours and which decisions are just very well paid for. It seems nowadays in the world you can get whatever you want as long as you can afford to make it happen. And that's even talking about manipulating the human minds. The human's minds. Interesting to note that Marlebone Station behind me is uh, going to be having a, a three-month trial called Barrierless Entry entry to the train without having to walk through a barrier, how can they take through the barriers? Well, they're going to be doing uh, contactless technology, starting with uh, mobile devices, basically trying to dissolve the contactless card and make everybody enter the trains using their phone. And it's paving the way for uh, iris recognition into railway stations, because no one likes barriers. Bring down the barriers. 
Love not walls. Iris scanning. Not walls. And if you think there's going to be a big public dissent about that sort of thing, biometrics linked to our bank account being used, it's rife for abuse. Surely nobody's going to accept such a thing. Well, of course they will, because there are ways of making you think.